Good day. It's been a while. I hope you guys are well and everything is good on your side. Well, I'm not going to waste any time. It's, it's, it's just a good time. Um, the year is almost over and a lot is happening. A lot has happened. I'm sure if you can compare the last video and this one, you can see on the face there are some creatures that are creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. It says one thing, you know, it says that the year is over. Things have been hectic, crazy. You know, there's a lot that is just happening around the world, but that doesn't stop us from living. Welcome everyone on another edition of Marriage Affairs with Pastor X. Well, today I'm talking about something that is kind of like a bit, hmm, what do I call it? A, a, a bit sensitive to those that are sensitive, but it's, it's some facts. You know, I'm talking about um, how do you know that you are forcing a relationship, okay? How do you know that you are forcing this relationship? Uh, because one of the things that I want to emphasize is what I spoke about earlier today on my on my Facebook page that you can't force somebody or make someone to love you by keeping giving them what they don't appreciate over and over. Okay, let me repeat it so that at least it's clear. You cannot make someone or force them to love you by giving them over and over what they don't appreciate. It becomes a problem, okay? It means now you're forcing matters. Now, what I want to talk about in this edition, I want to talk about a few things that you need to note that will say to you, you are forcing matters in this relationship. All right. So remember, if there's anything that you need, uh, if you need any of my 24 audio books, you can get them on uh, my WhatsApp line 083-3317-350. But also you can, you can click at the bottom here. I think it's this side. <laughs> yeah, one of the sides, there's, there's a subscribe button. You click there and then you get all the updates. Well, it's towards the end of the year. We are left with only, I think, two events that will be taking place. These are our, our, our annual events. Uh, on Saturday, we have the stock taking where we review things in relationships. And then uh, we have a gala dinner on the 15th of December. 15th December, wink, wink. That's what my son normally says when he wants something like, Daddy, can I have some snacks? Wink, wink. I don't know what it means, but <laughs> yeah. So that's what happens. Uh, 15th December, wink, wink. Those who know, you know. Um, okay. So let's get on to the, to the topic. Uh, but I'm telling you one thing for sure, 2021 is going to be great in terms of the programs. Not that great. <laughs> the great in the sense that the programs that we'll be having are going to be amazing. Um, I will be, I will be issuing out the, the calendar for next year in terms of the activities that we'll be having probably by end of this week. And we get to business. How do you know and when to know you are forcing matters in a relationship? I'm just going to give you a few things and then I'll be out of here. All right. The first thing that you will know that you are forcing matters. In other words, you are alone in this relationship. Your partner is not with you. Number one, if your partner is not curious about your day, if they don't really Ask, you know, genuinely, sincerely, how was your day? Because if I was not with you the whole day, I need to know the highlights of your day because that's how I get to know you. That's how I get to know how you respond to things. That's how I get to understand why you are behaving and reacting a certain way. It's because of the things that have happened in your day. But at the same time, me asking about your day, it shows that I care about you and about what happens to you and around you. Okay, so that is the first thing that 
uh, you will notice if a person all the time, and even sometimes when you do ask when and say, how was your day? They're like, no, it was okay. And then they not, you know, return the favor and ask the same thing. And then you should know, this person is not really into you. You could be forcing matters. You could be, you know, uh, loving this person and having a love that is just one-sided. Okay. And these things, they do happen. And then the second thing that will make you know, Uguti, you are on your own in this relationship and you are forcing matters because it's two things. You are on your own, but at the same time, whatever effort that you are putting, you, you, you are just <clears throat> on your own because your partner is not putting the same effort. Meaning the second thing is that if your partner doesn't take the same initiative that you are taking, at least, at least probably let's say, 70% of the same um, effort that you are putting. So if you put 100%, can they put at least 70%? You, yes, there will always be that one person who, who who's driving, you know, the relationship. But can it be can it be a matter of they also putting an effort? So there is an initiative. If today I'm saying let's go to let's go to the movies. And maybe next week, can you come up with something, you know, that we can do that shows what you are also, you know, invested in this thing that we are doing. If your partner is not supportive of your goals, okay, or they're not pushing you to be a better person than what you are, you should know, Uguti, you are forcing matters in this relationship. You are probably on your own in this relationship. So you need to be able to pay attention to those small signs that will say, Oguti, you know what? I'm not really interested. I'm here because I'm here. I'm here because I have to be here. But if we were to look at it in terms of what we do, in terms of how interested I am in you, in what you do, in what you become, and then there isn't much interest and then there is a problem. Okay, and then the fourth thing is when the person doesn't take responsibility of their actions, you should know that you are forcing matters. Um, if they, they, they will always do things and, and I know a lot of people where your partner will do something and you end up being the one who is apologizing all the time because you just want things to come all right. You just want you guys to succeed, to get somewhere, and as a result now you become a sacrifice in all this. Uh, at an expense of your, your emotions, your feelings, your peace of mind, and all those things. If they don't take action, responsibility for their actions, and then it could mean that you are just forcing because you are the one who's just doing things, making things that happen, and so forth. If they don't share about how they feel and about their fears, because how a person feels, it helps you to be able to know where you stand with that person and in that person's life. Okay, so people need to share. Yes, some of them might not be sharing people, but when you ask, they need to be able to share about their feelings. But at the same time, if you are in a relationship, you need to know what your partner's fears are. Because some of the things that we do in relationships, we are acting our fears out. And if you don't know that these are the fears that my partner has, and then it becomes a challenge because now you don't understand where certain things are coming from, how this person come to behave in, in such a manner. And all these things, only to find out, they originate from the fears that they have. Insecurities originate from fears. So if a person is insecure um, about themselves, about the relationship, about the circumstances surrounding the relationship, they will behave in a certain way. You see an excessive jealous, jealousy, okay? And you, you, you don't understand where it's coming from. It's because a person has never shared their fears with you, okay? And if your partner doesn't make you feel like you are a priority, just know that you are forcing matters. 
If a person is interested in you and they want to be part of the relationship, I promise you, they will never act like people who are not or who do not care to lose you. I hope I've put it nicely and easier. So if a person is really into you and they say you are a priority in their lives, they will act showing that they can't afford to lose you. You can't have somebody who doesn't care to lose you. You know, they might say it, but if their action is saying something else, and then it's a problem. So you need to feel like you are a priority. Otherwise, you, you might just be forcing matters. You might just be, you know, continuously forcing this person to love you by giving them what they just don't appreciate. And if a person is not really interested or bothered if you are happy or not, just know that you are forcing matters. Because somebody who is interested in you and somebody who is concerned about your well-being, when you are not happy about something, they will never repeat it. They will never repeat it. No normal person will repeat the same thing that they know it hurts their partner if they really care about you as a person if they don't pay attention to small things small things i'm talking about small things if your partner is really into you they need to know Kuti, you have a pimple here you didn't have this pimple they need to be able to notice Kuti, you know what you had this but you don't have it they need to notice that oh you've done your nails today oh they, they need to pay attention like pay attention to detail if a person is not paying attention, we pay attention to things that matters. For an example, if a person that you know or you yourself have bought a new car, all right, when you drive on the road, you'll start seeing that car a lot. Why? Because you are paying more attention to it. Okay, but before you bought a, um, a, a picanto, you didn't see picantos on the road. But all of a sudden you bought a picanto, there are a lot of picantos everywhere. Every parking space is filled up with a picanto. Okay, you're paying attention. So if your partner is not paying attention, Mamel, if they're not paying attention to you, they're paying attention to someone else. That is the truth. That is the honest truth. We pay attention as human beings, okay? So if, 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 even if then it's not a person they're paying attention to, but they're paying attention to something else, there's something that is distracting them to lose attention from you. And you know that you are on your own on that one, okay? And then the other one is if you feel, you know, lonely most of the times, in that relationship, oh, definitely, you definitely, you cannot be lonely in a relationship. The minute you feel lonely, it means, Oguti, you there are things that you are forcing. Now your spirit is rejecting the effort that you are putting. Okay? Your spirit is rejecting the effort that you are putting. Because why? You are just putting a lot of effort and nothing is being put back into you. And as a result, now you feel drained. You feel tired. It means that you are forcing matters. And then the last one, and I will leave you, Mdagaba. Uh, if you are just not true in this relationship, the minute there is a triangle besides God, the third force besides God, at any given time, just know you're forcing the relationship. <laughs> so it doesn't matter who. It could be the mother-in-law. It could be the friends. It could be a side nigger, a side chick. It doesn't matter. It could be the kids. The minute, in terms of the, the space, there's a third force that influences the two of you and how you, you relate, then you should know, Uguti, you are forcing matters. You are alone in this relationship. I hope you are blessed with this, and I hope it just opens up your mind uh, into, into paying attention to small red flags that are there in your relationship. May God bless you, and... Please, as we're going towards a festive season, please take care of yourselves. Be safe. 
drive safe, be responsible in everything that you do, and please keep well until we meet and talk again next year. God bless.